Hi guys, I'd like to uh, go over this thing with you. This is the 14 defining characteristics of fascism. And let's see how, how many of these apply to Trump. Uh, powerful and continuing nationalism. Fascist regimes make constant use of patriotic mottos, make America great again, slogans, symbols, songs, and flags. We have something in, in that of pretty much every category. Disregard for human rights. Uh, we've definitely seen a disregard for human rights out of this president. Uh, with the treatment of protesters and American soldiers. The ones that he turned his back to when he uh, uh, ignored the, the hits that the Russian soldiers were putting out on them. Uh, three... Identification of the enemies as a unifying cause. Uh, he started his campaign with that. Uh, he made the people in the South the enemies and, and built a wall. And then he made Antifa the enemy. And uh, he said he has to save America from them. Uh, but that was just a flavor of the month because I guess it was both Antifa and Black Lives Matter, right? But that was just a very short-lived enemy that evidently th he saved us from already. And now the Democratic mayors are the enemy that he has to save us from, that he needs the country to get behind. He doesn't say they're his enemy. He says they are our enemies. Supremacy of the military. Uh, he tried that, but it didn't work out so well because the military uh, didn't buy into his rhetoric. And he replaced that with uh, federal police. Widespread sexism. The government tends to be almost exclusively male-dominated. Traditional gender roles are made more rigid. Divorce, abortion, homosexuality are suppressed. Uh, we've definitely seen the way he treats women. It's not, not very very nice. He, he tends to pick on women. Uh, we heard what he thinks women are for. Uh, so there's that. Controlled mass media. Anything he doesn't like is considered fake news. But I will say there is a lot of fake news. And it's not just CNN. It's Fox. It's, it's all of them. Uh, they're all pushing a political agenda, unfortunately. So they all spin things to their own way. And most of us already know that you, you can't trust what the news tell you because... They don't report the truth. They, they take a little kernel of truth and build on that and, and make it into whatever they want it to, to be. Obsession with national security. <clears throat> Once again, there's the wall. Uh, not that... Okay, I'm not going to get into the wall. <laughs> uh... He's, he's constantly said all these, like, China's trying to do this stuff to us. You know what? Yes. Uh, China had spies in their consulate. So doesn't every country that has a consulate here. They have spies, just like we have in our consulates. That's what they're there for. It's one of the reasons they're there for. This, this crap that, oh, it's just good faith and we're here to 
get along, blah, blah, blah. We all know that's crap. Uh, they're there to try to learn information. And, and then our governments and their governments feed them misinformation. So, uh, for one, so they can see who is being the spies and blah, blah, blah. And it's just a big game to them. And anyway, that's how that, that stuff all works. Uh... But anyway, he, he makes, as was usual, he makes people into the boogeyman that I don't know if he's just that dense that he doesn't know this stuff or it's just the way he manipulates things. Religion and government are intertwined. <coughs> Now, there is a separation of church and state. Uh, the Framing Fathers knew this. Uh, we've, we've lately seen Trump do that as well. Uh, that lady that he, that doctor he sent out of Houston. Uh, and other, other things by saying uh, uh, that the Democrats are trying to put away or abolish Christianity and that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and I'm not a Democrat, but I don't think they're, they're trying to do that. Uh, maybe a lot of Democrats lean towards not being Christians, but that doesn't mean they want to abolish it. I think most people are okay with any religion as long as you're doing it for you. You know, just keep your religion to yourself. And if you want to talk to people about it, that's, that's perfectly fine. But don't judge them if they don't want to be part of your religion. I mean, live and let live, right? That's what America's supposed to be about. Number nine. Corporate power is protected. Well, we've definitely seen that. Ten. Labor power is suppressed. Now... You might think that, oh, Trump says he supports the unions. Trump supports the police union. The rest of the unions, he is doing everything in his power to uh, to diminish. Uh, Trump is actually very anti-union. Disrespect for intellectuals and the arts. Uh, open hostility to higher education. Professors and ac academics are con consored or even arrested. Well, we haven't seen that. Arrested. Free expression in the arts and writing is openly attacked. And we have seen that. Uh, I think Trump has a beef with anyone who questions him, who thinks they're smarter than him, uh, and questions his judgment. So, uh, he tends to just get rid of those, any experts that would, uh, be able to help him. But that, had, that not not really to do with the intellectuals or arts. I guess the intellectuals part. Obsession with crime and punishment. We've definitely seen that. Rampant cronyism and corruption. We have seen that way out of Trump. Uh, how many of his cabinet members have been charged with felonies lately? Uh, and they're all his buddies. Uh, lots of his buddies are getting stimulus support. Uh, did y'all know that? Uh, Hennedy, that Fox guy, got a million dollar stimulus support check from Trump. Go check it out. Fact check it. See if I'm telling the truth or not. Uh, that's someone that doesn't need it. Uh, that... I mean, how many bi small businesses are starving and going out? And how many could have been held afloat, maybe just for one more month until things were a little more conducive to, to business so that they could survive. 
because so this guy that has no he didn't need it in any way shape or form he needed this money just greed is the only reason he took it and that's trump's little buddy he definitely floats him touts him out there in front of everybody right uh and 14 which we just saw today which was the reason why i looked this up uh trump wants to suspend the election until he and remain in power until he thinks it's okay to have another election uh, this is everything dictators do, people. Uh, we are in probably some very dangerous times if this happens. And I think it's kind of odd that the, I, I, I'm not hearing a lot more about this. He, he said this via a tweet. That's, that's the, our, our president of the United States uses social media to circumvent the Constitution. Uh, it's, you can't even make this stuff up. It's such a joke. But then again, it's also very serious. Because this is about as against the Constitution as you can possibly get. I don't know what else could be more unconstitutional than uh, just demanding that election not happen. And you get to remain in power. So... What, what do y'all think? Uh, do y'all see that the characteristics of a fascist? Do you see that in Trump? Maybe you could point out other reasons that you see so, or maybe you don't see that. Uh, tell me why you don't see that. So, uh, anyway, I guess that's all I have to say on that. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Lots of love, everyone. Bye.